Hello everybody and welcome to your next Allegro 5 tutorial. Uh, so in the last tutorial we learned about keyboard input and uh, we'll be getting more into keyboard input and uh, once we get into uh, doing spreadsheet animation and stuff like that. Uh, so now we're going to be learning about uh, other types of events since Allegro 5 is heavily event based. Uh, so what we're going to be learning about is display events okay and what display events are is what um, they have to do with the window so you can have a, um, an event uh, like to close a window with the X button or you can do it like if they have a you could have a resize event etc etc uh, and there's many different types of events uh, but uh, I'll just show you uh, the main one that I'm going to be showing you is how to close a game window and if you want to explore the other different types of window events then um, it's up to you uh, to research that so we're going to do AL register event just like we always have to do and we're putting in our event queue and what we're going to do AL get uh, display event source and we put in the, our, our display in there okay so we registered our, our our event our display event source so right here we say that um if they press the escape key then we said done equal to true and that will exit our game loop okay so uh this time instead like we can still check if they press the escape key but we want to check to see if they actually close the game with the x button so what we're gonna do we're gonna say else if events dot type equals allegro underscore event underscore display underscore close uh then we'll just set done equals to true okay so if they press the x button then we're gonna set done to true and that will exit the game loop so if i run this program right now so la do that uh okay whatever we're we're playing a game blah 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 okay and then we just have to exit it so you click the x button and it closes without any errors so that is one thing that we can do with um, display events as well and if we go to right click and we click to go to declaration we could see the different types of display events we can do so there's a lot of different ones and if you search on the Allegro 5 documentation or, or whatever you can see what these do uh, lots of them are pretty obvious like you can check for what happens if you resize it uh, if you switch in and out of the window etc etc uh, now one thing I want to show you is that what we can do is that uh, just like we can do events dot type right uh, just like we do events dot type we can do different types of events so we could say like uh, we can get the events dot display and then we can get the the current x position of the display or the width of the display or etc etc or we can set the height etc etc so we can um get certain information from the display or, or set certain values we want so if we want to get certain values from the timer we can get the timer count uh different things if you want uh different options you have right here and uh etc etc so there's different things that we can go through through events as well so uh, events is a broad topic and uh, in the next tutorial we're going to be learning about mouse events uh, so how to handle a mouse uh, mouse input and moving the mouse and that's going to be much more complex well not that much more complex but it's going to be more complex than this tutorial and this one was a real easy one but the next one you'll you'll learn a lot more but i hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and bye